even though this anime is so inconsistent on when it comes out, it's really, really good. So this episode came out yesterday. I believe it came out yesterday or Wednesday. Did, I, don't, I don't know what's this, this anime schedule. Maybe it's the sub that comes out bad or something. It takes a long time for some reason. But every time the episode comes out, it's good. Since the anime wants to be inconsistent on when it comes out and subbed, I'll be inconsistent in my reviews, but there's, they will still be good reviews. So this episode made me hate Warwick's father even more. Yes, Warwick's father was worried about him because he was smoking and stuff. A regular father would have um, like scolded him, did something else, not beat his own kid, and then take the cigarette and then burn his eye. Are you serious? I thought Nicholas destroyed Warwick's eye. Nope. It was his father that burned his eye because he was smoking. To take it to that extreme. Just because of that. Is just unbelievable. Like that's way way too harsh. And all those beatings he gave Warwick before when he was drunk for no absolute reason. And when they were going to attack the mansion. In another episode, and his father was like, oh, I don't care about my son. Let's just go to the shelter with him and his wife. Shows what kind of hateful, evil human being he was. And how much the viewers, like, me personally, I dislike him a lot. Like, I really hate him. Like, that shows you that a character was created in an anime which genuinely makes you disgusted of him like hate him so nicholas kills him and then work is of course his father dies so of course he's gonna react like that like what did you do it wasn't me it wasn't me like he felt guilty because nicholas killed his father nicholas was gonna commit suicide afterwards and work said you're not you're not gonna die so easily this was my favorite scene he said you're gonna suffer you're gonna suffer a lot before you die because he just killed his father. But um, I think the true reason Warwick stopped him is because he created a bond with Nicholas and he doesn't want his only friend uh, in the world, which we have seen so far, go out like that. He actually wants to stay with him, even if he murdered his entire family because um, Warwick's mother was with another kid, I guess, and Nicholas passed by them and well, I could assume that he murdered them too. And Doug is... Doug is 21 years old. What? He looks like a little kid. He looks like he's 13. No, he looks like he's four, 14 or 15. And he's 21. That short. Like, that was really surprising to me. Um, We found out at the end. Who has been killing the tags? Is this Black Lagoon? Is this Black Lagoon? Like, the, the people... Killing the tags is probably their tags as well. Two little kids. Little kids. If if their ages are revealed and it says they're 21. I am not believing that. Hell no. These little kids looks like they're 14. Both 14 or 13 or something. Like they're little kids. And I made a Black Luke Groom reference. Because there was little kids pretending to be vampires. If I remember correctly in black lagoon killing people like it was nothing like they were just killing people and these little kids these tags are just killing other tags like it's no problem like it's easy which is oh my god this this anime is really good really mature with these dark themes and that reference with the black lagoon was really cool that i made because it this anime reminds me a lot a lot about Black Lagoon but not not much also because it's the mature theme that I enjoy I'm really enjoying this anime for the mature theme and it's not like other animes where uh, a dude does a fake move and crap with his arm and stuff it's like a realistic anime this could happen except for the superpowers where people are jumping from the ground all the way to roofs and stuff except for that part but other than that everything else is so realistic all these scenarios could actually happen people killing people all of these things and that's what draws me into this anime 
I'm sad that the anime is inconsistent when it comes out in sub, but I will still be reviewing it. Overall, I enjoyed this episode greatly. The revelation of who's killing the tax at the end was a great scene. It just gave me memories of Black Lagoon, and that's another great anime series. And all I gotta say, if you're watching this for some insane reason, and you have not watched this anime at all, and you're watching this review for some magical reason, watch this anime. Overall, I'll give this episode a 10 out of 10. Perfect episode for me. And if you enjoyed this review, remember to rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, girl. And Warwick lost a knife. Peace.